good morning students good morning to all and last day we have started the new chapter the sources of business finance and also we have studied about the meaning and the nature of business finance so today also just we will remain what we have studied on last day and we will go to the new concepts yesterday itself we have started the chapter 19 sources of business finance the meaning of business finance is simply if you want to understand the business finance is mainly concerned with the arrangement of cash and credit for the business enterprises to carry out their day to day operations smoothly if any of the business organizations want to function their day by day activity as smoothly they need some of the sufficient level of financial but all the business finance also all the business entrepreneurs or organizations will be in need of the sufficient level of the financial or financial amount but they will arrange some of the finance from any of the sources that is called the sources of business finance and also we have studied some of the nature of business finance yesterday also so the business finance comprises all types of funds all types of funds mean the short term medium term and long term so the short term business funds and the medium term business funds and the long term business funds and next all types of organizations namely small medium and large scale enterprises require the business finance even if you are considering the large scale business large scale business organizations and the medium and the small scale every business organizations will be in need of the business finance and next the volume of business finance required varies from one business enterprises to another type of the enterprises it will be depending upon its nature and size some of the business organizations will produce any of the normal commodities and the basic necessity of life and another one of the business organizations may able to produce the capital goods so this type of industries will be required is a large scale funds and the amount of business finance required differs from one period to another period sometimes the business finance will be in need of having their low and some another same time or not the same time in another time the same business organizations will be in need of high amount so in other words the requirement of business finance heavy during the peak seasons while it is low level during the dull seasons next the amount for business finance determines the scale of operations of business enterprises so the business finance also will be determined or depending upon the size of the productions so what type of the product is produced by the business organization will be determined the business finance then next is significance of business finance so what are the importance and why the business finance is considered as very much important mean the business enterprises can function effectively and efficiently only with adequate business finance if there is not having the sufficient level of the finance no business organizations can smoothly function so it cannot expand its business operations without business finance as a good entrepreneurs or a good producers want to expand their business organizations so the business finance is very much important right so the success of any business firm depends to a large extent on the manner in which it mobilizes users and distributes the funds as a good organizations if they have the sufficient level of the fund it can easily expand whenever they want some of the highlights points are mentioning here about the significance of business finance 
First, your firm with adequate business finance can easily start any business venture. If any of the entrepreneurs want to bring about any of the, bring about the innovations or inventions, they can easily start it because he has sufficient level of the business finance. When they have the finance, only is enough. Whatever venture is taken by the entrepreneurs, they can take. Next, business finance helps the business organizations to purchase raw materials from the supplier easily to produce the goods. So normally, the entrepreneur or the producers can easily get all type of the raw materials from the suppliers at any point of time. When the entrepreneur or the producers they are going to provide the business finance or the amount for the supplying raw materials they can easily get. Next, the business firm can meet financial liabilities like prompt payment of salary and wages, expenses, etc. in time with the help of sound financial support. If any of the business organizations have the sufficient level of the business finance, they can easily make the payment for the wages for the labors and the payment for the suppliers and etc. When they have the perfect level of the business finance, it is helpful to improve the business organizations. Next, the sound financial support enables the enterprises to meet any unexpected or uncertain risks arising from the business environment. FCM. For example, economic slowdown, trade cycles, severe competition, shift in consumer preference, etc. So, whatever type of the risks are arised in the business organizations or uncertainty is arised in these business organizations, it is easily meet with the help of financial liabilities. Next, the sound financial position empowers the enterprise to attract talented manpower and introduce the latest technology. So, if you have the financial facilities, we can easily arrange any of the talented persons from any of the nations. And what are the latest technologies is introduced in our nations and in our market? It can easily arrange it by the business organizations. So we have to so we can study it about the significance of business finance. So even not only these points, so after that this point the significance of business finance may be considered as very much important. Next is the sources of business or the sources of business finance. So we have studied the nature and the significance and the importance of the business finance. Okay, now if the financial organization, sorry, if the business organizations will be in need of having the business finance they have to some of the they have to arrange some of the sources the sources also will be classified on the basis of period the short term finance medium term finance and long term finance so if you are considering the long term finance so more than 5 years and medium term finance above 1 years but below 5 years and short term finance within one year. The short term finance is considered the finance facilities is provided to the business organizations by returning within the one year. The medium term finance is providing returning within the one year to below five years. And long term finance is considered to give back the finance facilities within the five years. So the different sources of finance can be further grouped into the three categories on the basis of period. So on the basis of period, short term finance, medium term finance and the long term finance. First, what are the sources are there to receiving the short term business finances? First, the loans and advances. 
The loan is a direct advance made in lump sum which is credited to a separate loan account in the name of borrower. If any of the borrowers want to borrow the loans and advances directly to the individual peoples and the finance or financial organizations are considered as a loans. The borrower can withdraw the entire amount in cash immediately. It can be repaid in one or more installments. But the interest on loans and advances is calculated on the whole of the amount borrowed right from the date of sanction. Even if the loans and advances is received by the borrower within the two installments, the interest rate will be considered or taken into the account of the date of fund sanctioning. So it may be secured or unsecured. The loans and advances are usually sanctioned by pledge of specific assets like fixed deposit, receipts, document of the title of goods or shares and dividends. So by providing or by keep the mortgage, we will get the short term financial organization. Next is bank overdraft. So bank overdraft refers to an arrangement whereby the bank allows the customers to overdraft the required amount from its current deposit account within a specified limit. So already we have studied the different type of the accounts made in the bank. So the entrepreneurs or the producers and some of the organizers only can have the possibilities to make the current account. So in this current account, the bank will be allowed to taking the over draw amount, over amount for, from their account. For example, if the producers or if any of the individual persons are having in their account just 1 lakh rupees and when they are going to purchasing the raw material from any of the organizations they can easily take above 1 lakh rupees it is the facilities provided by the bank next discounting bills of exchange when goods are sold on credit the suppliers generally draw the bills of exchange upon the customers who are required to accept it Discounting the bills of exchange means any of the bills may be. So we have studied in on this warehousing, the, uh, the warehouse received and the keeper received. So every uh, the debentures or the bonds also will be considered as a bills of exchange. So when the banks are discounting the bills of exchange, the borrower can easily get some amount of money. Next, trade credit. The trade credit is the credit extended by one trader to another for the purpose of purchasing goods and services. Normally, when the retailers are getting some of the credit facilities from the wholesaler, and the wholesaler also can have the possibilities to borrow the credit facilities from the producers. So the purchasers need not pay money immediately after the purchase. Such credit appears in balance sheet as a trade creditors or the accounts payable. So whenever the business organizations are going to continuously, so this type of the credit is provided by the every set of peoples. So there is no formality involved in the availing this facility. There is no need to give any security for the trade credit. It is said to be more economical than the bank loans. So without having any of the bonds and any of the arrangement or any of the pledge, by the name of understanding or by the name of confidence on any of the creditors or confidence on any of the traders, one traders will be helpful to the other traders. Next, pledge. A customer transfers the possession of an article with the creditors or the banker and they receive the loans. So till the repayment of loan, the article is under the custody of the borrower. If the debtor fails to refund the loan, creditors will action this article. 
so by the name of blitz one traders may providing the trade facilities or the finance facilities to the other traders next mortgage so this is a type of loan taken from the banks by lodging with the bankers title deeds of immovable assets normally if you want to get the sufficient level of the finance we will be mortgage any of the assets the immovable assets the immovable assets may be the ornaments or the bonds paper or the home and the cars etc so by mortgaging the goods in the banks or any of the money lenders we will get the amount next the loans against the securities so by providing the securities we will get the loans from the banks the banks accept various types of securities like fixed deposit receipts so books debt insurance and some of the policies so anyway what type of the securities may be against the securities all type of the traders can get the loans in the worth of the securities <coughs> next a clean loan so clean loan means some of the banks provide clean loan to the certain customers of outstanding credit worthiness on the basis of their character capacity and capabilities so once if you are borrowing the money from any of the bank and if you are repaying that amount within the proper time or the prescribed time the bank will consider us as a good man on the basis of the good character and their behavior the bank will be accept and will be calculate the traders so on the basis of the good name on the traders so the bank will providing the more financial facility that is considered as a clean loan next the commercial papers the commercial paper is an unsecured money market instrument in the form of promissory note so what are the documents we are using in the trade it is considered as a commercial papers by providing the commercial papers to the banks we will get some of the loans Next, higher purchase finance. The small scale firms can acquire industrial machinery, office equipment, vehicles, etc., without making the full payment through higher purchase. Higher purchase means, so when we are normally, it is also one type of the instalment basis. So the maximum the small scale industries and the medium scale industries can purchase any of their materials, tools, and equipment from the organizations other organizations by the purchase risking so when they are providing the amount in the installment basis so the trader will never get the profit and losses next is sources of medium term finance so how the medium term business organizations will get the medium term finance so on the three categories we can get the medium term finance first one is loans from banks next loans from financial institutions next lease financing loans from banks means under the scheme of loans from banks how one of the business organization get the finance means when the bank lends for a period ranging from more than 1 year to less than the 5 years it is called medium term loan so all aspect of bank finance have been discussed under the head long term sources of loan so if you are going to any of the commercial banks you will get the loans from banks next loan from financial institutions we have studied in this previous lessons see many of the financial institutions are there prevailing in our nations so we can get the loans from any of the financial institutions next the lease financing the lease financing denotes procurement of assets through lease so when we are providing our assets through the lease we will get some of the amount of money 
the firm which owns the asset is called less and the business enterprises which hires the asset is called lessee if you are providing any of the assets that person is called leases and the business enterprises which hires the asset is called lessee next the sources of long term finance how we will get the long term finance first under the share corporate enterprises generally obtain capital mainly from the share capital which is divided into small units called shares we have studied all type of the business enterprises or the corporate enterprises can have the rights and the powers to issuing the shares the shares means so the capital mainly from share capital so the capital is divided into the small units for example if for the capital of one enterprise is 1 crore means so that value of capital is divided into a small piece that is called shares so once upon a time it was as a document but nowadays it is become as a e-commerce so by having or by issuing the shares the organizations can get the substantial of the money next the equity shares the equity shares also one type of the shares only the fund raised by issuing equity share is termed as the equity share capital the equity share is the most important source of raising long term capital by the company these shares do not carry any special or preferential rights in the matter of payment of annual dividend and repayment of capital at the time of winding up Normally we have studied when the company is going to winding up, the shareholders can the shareholders must get the dividend and the amount paid to on the shares. But in this equity shares is not like that. When the company is going to winding up, the company have to take more responsibilities to providing the loans to the shareholders. next debentures the debentures are an important instrument for raising long term deposit capital a company can raise funds through issues of debentures which bear a fixed rate of interest the individual or the persons subscribing to debentures is called debenture holder if like a shares debentures is also one of the document the document of credit is considered as a debentures when the company is want to earning more amount of money so it will be issuing the debentures also the debentures and the shares also most will be the same and some of the particular characters are there we will study it later okay next is public deposit So under this method companies invite public deposit by giving advertisement in the media. So already we have studied in our company schemes or articles of associations the prospectus no so the prospect is one of the advertisement provided by the company to the public to arrangement or depositing a depositing on shares at the company it offers deposit schemes for a long term the persons interested to making public deposit has to undergo a simple formality the company need not offer any of its assets as a security on accepting public deposit moreover the control of the company is not diluted as the deposit holders do not enjoy the voting rights so the public deposits also will be gathering by the finance organizations so without providing any of the rights to the depositors next the loans from the financial institutions the loans from the financial institutions so the central and the state governments have established the various financial institutions in india to provide the finance to the business enterprises for a longer period 
these institutions aims at promoting the industrial development of any hunt in addition to loan assistance they conduct market surveys provide technical assistance and supply managerial talents and uh, throughout our world <coughs> the many financial institutions are prevailing in our nations so from these financial institutions so all the business organizers or the entrepreneurs can have the rights and the power to borrow the money okay students today i'm think it's enough and if you have any doubt in this lessons please ask me without any hesitation thank you and just to take the sources of long term finance as you are today study portions thank you <coughs>